Hey there, it is 2019. I guess that's how we're gonna say it, 2019. And uh, it's January 4th, back to, kind of back, boy, I've been goofing off for a couple of weeks, well, sort of, I've been spending a lot of time with family and, and playing a little bit of guitar. Actually, I'll show you what I've been working. I've got a couple of really cool lessons coming up, but one of them I have to make a decision on, is it too late to do another Christmas song? There's one that has just been the, uh, it's kind of like Bethina. For, I've, I've messed around with it for like 25, 30 years and never came up with something I liked. And this year it finally clicked. I can't play it yet, but I'll show you what it is. What the heck. So I'll have to walk through some of the parts. Wait a minute. That's the harmonics we gotta hit in there. Getting close. This is the part that I could never come up with something I liked. But it's, it's taken shape. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so, should I put a lesson up on that in the next week or two, or should we wait till next year? Luckily, as this was starting to slip away from me, I came home, I ditched a family gathering and wrote it all out because it was getting, anyway, it was escaping. So I do have it written down. So if anybody would like to work on Sleigh Ride, let me know in January. Well, it is January now. Um, what else have I been, I, I should probably do a yearly checkup on how Bethina is doing. I, I haven't played it in a month. Let's try the first section. This should be in pretty good shape, I hope. Oh, hard harmonics and stuff. Man.
remember last year, <laughs> Muriel Anderson was here around this time, and she'll be back next week. I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. Um, but I wasn't able to, I wasn't, hit, wasn't hitting those harmonics very well. Here it is a year later. They're coming out much better. See? So just keep plugging away at it. It'll happen. Um, what did I want to really talk about today? Let's talk about Muriel. For, no, let's talk about what came out new so I can get that out of, the, out of the way. We had a few new things, a couple of new packs, an Almond Brothers pack, five pack of Almond Brothers tunes. Uh, for those who like picking up, you know, songs in packs. And, uh, of course, Target members, you got all this stuff. All 1,200. We're probably getting close to 1,300 songs by now. Um, and uh, an Elvis pack. Thank you, Vanessa, for another year's worth of doing some cool lessons and uh, doing a bunch of Elvis lessons that, that I was never going to get to. So um, that was fun. And the pack of Elvis tunes includes, she did a couple double lessons in there. So there's actually like seven songs in there. Uh, and right at the end of the year, on, on the 31st, we got, we snuck out the last lesson of the year, um, Roxette, Spending My Time. Again, thanks to Vanessa. We do have a lot of stuff lined up for over the next couple of weeks. So, so starting Monday, things will get back to normal. I am hoping to get out a song. I've, I've been working on one other one that I, I'm not going to tell you too much about because it's way easier than it seems, but putting the lesson together on it has been way harder than it should have been. Um, very exotic tuning. Kind of a C6 tuning. That might be enough information for you to figure out what it is. Um, and it also has been on our recommend a lesson list for since probably day one. Day one was almost 10 years ago now. And uh, that's kind of a, its own little amazing thing. So, uh, okay, so that was it for the, the new stuff. Interesting questions going on on the forum. Um, Mark brought up the idea of the pick, the, the big old thick glass pick. I do have a big thick wooden pick here. Not as thick as, as that, but um, you get a lot of noise out of picks that are like really solid. Stone picks, glass picks. They're, but they're frequently good for, for lead playing. so good for strumming get too much noise out of them and I don't know how this wooden one would hold up to repeated if, if the strings are gonna polish it up but um, let's see what was I gonna tell you I liked about picks I had one here I kind of liked. oh here it is a little bit of grip on both sides it's kind of the blue thickness the second thickness of uh, the Diderio ones whereas like the purple ones are the heaviest one I forget what the numbers are 88 1.12 or something like that Might have to play some Elvis tunes. to show it doesn't matter if you hit any of the notes you meant to but as long as you keep the rhythm it can sound sound okay so my tip for you for this year keep the rhythm don't don't slow down don't miss I mean don't stop don't stop don't stop your hand moving whenever you're playing anything it'll always it'll always sound okay even if you don't get any of the notes you meant to get okay um let's see picks Michelle your question about bass teachers that is, that may happen this year. We got, we have a few things that are, are just around the corner here at TG, and um, a bass teacher is possible. Um, it's never gone too far off off of uh, the, my list of things I'd like to like to get happening here. Um, anyway, and Max, I, uh, I think Max brought this up, or somebody else did, and Max Max replied to it. The whole idea of playing by ear is a uh, something I want to address because. The whole concept is, is a little bit, um, the idea is just how to learn, learn how to listen and find things on there. Um, had a student here, um, Kevin, you guys, he, Kevin's done some fly on the wall videos and, um, he wanted to learn a song, an Alan Jackson song called Itty Bitty, I think. Yeah. And, uh, I said, well, first, let's, let me hear you, let's listen to it and tell me what you hear. 
And so we listened to the introduction, and my question, my first question was, how many chords did he hear? And he, he thought he heard three. And I said, listen again, what are you really hearing? What's, what's jumping out at you? He says, the viol there's a fiddle solo. There's like an eight or nine measure fiddle opening. And that's what he couldn't get his ears off. And I said, listen to the bass. And what you'll hear is this. I said, how many bass notes do you hear? Pretty soon, and it only took him a second to hear, that. oh, there's just two bass notes back and forth. And he found the pitch of one. Well, then we knew that it was in the key of E, out of tune E. Um, he, he heard that it was in, figured out it was in the key of E, and then we listened through it and figured out, well, that means it's likely to see what three chords. Sure enough, that's all it did. So, um, you know, I think he thought it was going to take a long time. He, oh, he came up with this, I want to learn this new song. I said, well, I bet you can learn this by yourself. Anyway, we didn't write any of it down, and I know now today, one day later, I'm sure he can play it because because um, he was working on on hearing stuff. So uh, ch don't forget we have a uh, an ear training course here that I put together a couple of years ago. Half part of it is just listening to melodies and being able to play them, and the other half is geared towards hearing chord progressions. I got to put up more listen up challenges too. So okay, that's just part of my. I should make a list of my New Year's plans. <sighs> uh, let's see. Okay, two other things I want to talk about. Oh, and something else that we, we got, Larry got finished with a, a highlights video from last year's camp, our 2018 camp at Asilomar. And I hope people have had a chance to take a look at it. It's, we, it, it's a little longer than most of the ones we've had, but it was, it was fun to, to relive some of that stuff. So there's a thread on the forum that, that points you to that if you hadn't had a chance to check it out. Um, and I guess one thing about highlights, I had three highlights that jump out at me this year. Um, well, maybe four. Oh, the list is going to get longer. First one is the first wedding in the Hogan family. I want to congratulate my son, Corey, and, and his wonderful wife, bride, Nora, who we are very fond of. And just anyhow. So um, that was fun back in the, the end of June. And right on the heels of that, we went to another highlight, spent, uh, spent a couple of weeks in Europe with our first camp, our first international guitar camp our first international international guitar camp and uh we have that's coming up again this year the middle of july so if you're interested in joining us there we got a few people signed up already so it's it's a it's a go and um and then of course this our sixth camp at Asilomar was another highlight um this was uh, plans for that for the next one are coming together we will have max there the whole time and that's i'm real excited about that um and another, I get what, what really has to be right up there in the same top four, top five, top four things was uh, visiting with Matt and the TG team in Tasmania. It was a, um, uh, it was a bit of an ordeal getting there and getting back, but you know, you know how it is with things that are, um, as, as, as memory lingers on, you remember the better parts of stuff than the worst parts of stuff. So, so managed to, uh, you know, uh, get through the hours and hours and days of travel, and but uh, it was gr great to. So I want to thank Matt for making that all happen, and really just for making t the whole TG world happen ten years ago too. So uh, there is an outside. No, I think it's more than an outside chance. There is a very good chance we're going to see him here in a week or two. So we'll get some get some videos happening there, and there is a guaranteed chance not even a chance anymore if it's if it's guaranteed well it can't be guaranteed because something could happen we have a friend who's traveling right now on her christmas break that teaches with with nani and stuck in thailand cannot get back because of monsoons that are going on there and uh, anyway it's going to miss like another week of school so things things could happen travel things could could change muriel's plans but if you're anywhere in california she's doing a lot of stuff over the next um next few weeks Starting in, I'm not sure where she is exactly yet, um, but Sunday she'll be doing a, a show, a house concert up in the Gold Country in Sutter Creek, um, and then Monday a radio show around here, Tuesday a, a show over near Santa Cruz in Soquel at Michael's on Main, and I'm hoping to pin her down with a few, with some, some videos like we did last year and just talk about what's been going on in everybody's life and, and stuff. So. 
Uh, but the big thing she's doing that is a uh, big thing for us, at least, is a workshop here in Los Gatos at Keith Holland's Guitar Hospital on next Saturday, a week from tomorrow, Saturday the 12th at 1 o'clock. So there's information out there on that. Well, we'll make sure that all that info is, is easy to find. So um, I think that is about all I have time for today. Um, we should play something going into the new year. play that one all the time. second hot tuna album back when i was just still a wee teen and uh well a mid-teen a late teen i guess but um and one of the stuff that was one of the things that really turned me back on to finger picking so okay i think that is it a couple of again a couple cool lessons coming up next week and uh oh let's try to get some what i uh, i had one more thought that just just it's like out there somewhere. It had something to do. Oh wait, yeah, it was. I would like to hear what people have worked on, like over the year. So you know, if it like little yearly summaries, maybe uh, it could either be on the form or it could be videos. Um, but uh, you know, kind of cool to hear what people have, how how the year went for everybody in their guitar in their their musical evolution. So if you uh, you could even just reply to this thread. Where, the, where it is and, and let us know what's been happening. I think I'd, I'd like to know what people are working on and what they li what you'd like to keep working on. So open to suggestions and that's it for a cold day in January in Northern California. <laughs>